Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly podcast It's a Beautiful Day in Fairfield. Thank you for joining us and I hope you con will continue to join us every Tuesday and Friday morning at 8 a.m. 8.30 a.m. on <laughs> RG on Air on YouTube. I'm Elena Bayat and that's Claire Ron and it's a beautiful day in Fairfield and our uh, special guest today is Yvette Anderson. Welcome to It's a Beautiful Day in Fairfield. Good morning, Wayne <laughs> County. Good morning. <laughs> turn your camera just okay. a little bit. Yeah, there you go. No, we got to turn my headset up. Is everyone else's okay? Can you hear yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. I like mine loud. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us, Yvette. Yeah, no problem. Yvette told me she was a little nervous. Super to nervous. To come on here. <laughs> you know why? Well, I've done interviews numerous times at right. the radio station. But Tom Levine was always like, you mess up, don't worry, we can cut this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Stop. <laughs> just just wait a minute. And here's just everything live. And now it's all live. I'm like, holy cow, I can't mess up when I'm speaking today. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, you're fine. Yeah. Trust me, we mess up all the time. And what I love about this is it's real it's yeah. real it's authentic and um it's not on the radio so if we do slip up and say something uh, like you know i said let's talk like we're friends and if i say a cuss word or whatever <laughs> yeah we're not going to get in trouble by the um you know regulations for right. the radio station <laughs> so but yeah we like the authenticity of it and uh yeah it's fun so i did look up some ways to try to relax in case we need to do these Number one is um, deep breathing. Focus on your breathing, right? Everyone inhale, See, I'm exhale. Of oils. <laughs> I use doTERRA oils. Oh, in my yes. <laughs> we do. We need some like incense yeah. going yeah. in here, some oils going. Um, one of them was to picture yourself somewhere serene, which is a little hard to do with the, with the road construction that's happening right. right now. Picture yourself on the beach, and then you hear. <laughs> oh no! See, I hate the beach. I am not really? a beach person. I hate sand. Oh, okay. I don't. We. I grew up water skiing okay, and camping, so, so we were always out in the middle of the water. I didn't right. have to deal with sand. And when we'd go to the beach, I'm like, Why are we? Why are here? we here? We can get in the boat and go jump 100%. out. One hundred percent. Why do we do this? This yeah. is stupid. So when we go boating down at the river, that's what everyone does. They have a boat. They get on a boat. And they drive to the island, yeah. And they b dock their boats or sand their boats, whatever, beach it, and get out and they hang out there. I'm like, well, why are we doing this? We uh -huh. have boats. Yeah, we could go yeah, drive yeah. around on the water. That's right. But, but it's water also right to just nice to just lay on oh, the sand yeah. and then sleep. <laughs> and then she can you do wake it on up the boat. And, uh, she doesn't have kids, yeah. so she can go to the beach. And I yeah, don't have a boat. <laughs> She can go to the beach and she can sleep. I go to the beach and I'm like, here, honey, let me get the sand out of your eyes. Oh, you got it in your mouth. Okay, let's yeah. take a drink of water. Let's go oh, you need a, a snack? Oh, you need, a, yeah. <laughs> you need a snack? You need a drink? Like, it's not super relaxing yeah. when you take two kids. But I, um, that's always a question people ask, like mountains or beach? So you would choose mountains? I would go mountains. Are you a cold weather person? You know, when we were up there, we went, Jeremy and I and the girls took um, a trip to Colorado, we camped mm -hmm. out on the mountains, mm -hmm. and it wasn't super cold at that time, but it was like nice hoodie weather, mm -hmm. loved it, that was wonderful, but he hunted, and we rode ATVs, and oh fun, yeah, we went up to, we rode the side-by-sides up to Silverton, and it was the highest point in Colorado, mm -hmm. I believe okay, it was, yeah. so yeah, we did that. Um, that sounds like the marsh in Florida. Oh, oh my gosh, the marsh in Florida is fabulous. Really, people go to Florida to go to the beaches. Yeah. We went that's to the marsh to alligator yeah. hunt, yes. bowfish. That's that's what we huh. do. She so, um, so uh, Yvette's at our table, at the cool kids table yeah. at, at Rotary. Rotary. <laughs> yeah, and we have a little group chat going on. And at one point, she sends us this picture of this oh. alligator that she's killed, and I'm like. <laughs> I knew I did not know this part about you. I'm like, who does yeah. this? Yep. And she, you know, she was just this like did sweet lady, it? and then she's like, just killed this gator. Did you all see it? I did. Huh? Did you all see eat it? You oh, yeah. eat it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it it's nice? In the freezer. We actually killed four when wow, we were okay. down there. So, so we she's a she's meat. a vegetarian as yeah. well. You're so. missing out, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> we got two sides of the spectrum here. But. I, an alligator is not usual for me. I never no. see it. Just see one when I was in Florida. And so I will never think of, oh, go, let's hunt them and eat them. <laughs> yeah. Even when I was in a restaurant in Florida, they had, like, gator. I was like, 
you can't eat it? Yeah. Does it taste good? I don't know. <laughs> Very good. Is it like everyone always says, oh, it tastes like chicken? Oh, yeah. It tastes yeah, like it chicken. tastes like Is chicken. it really soft? I thought maybe it's like sheep Chew. or something. Yeah, yeah it's really tough. tough. Depends yeah. on how long you cook it. You don't want to cook it too long. I was going to say, what's the best way to prepare it? We deep fry it in chunks, and you don't cook it any longer than three minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. So next time you get one, we need to have a gator fry and then invite invite (laughs) us over. I want to. I want to. I want to try it. Yeah, talk and eat. The girls in the office. The girls in my office had said, and actually Shelby's husband Ross, he's like, I would like to try some of that. I said, okay, next time we have gator, I'll call you and y'all can come over. (laughs) I love it. That's so. I guess I just need to do a Facebook post. Yeah, Yeah. gator feed. Gator feed tonight. Come on over. Yes, we'll be there. Elena won't try it, but she'll watch us all yeah, eat it uh, and, and see our reactions. Oh, so you monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you do, you hunt, like, everything. You mm-hmm. hunt gator. You said you just got a turkey. I did. This we worked hard for that. I face planted once, too. I mean, like, because <laughs> we of mud to sneak or around, yeah. and my feet got tangled up, and we were in a hurry going down this oh ditch trying to hide. Oh, my gosh. My feet got tangled up, and I went down, and oh, you're like, Jeremy, so, he's way ahead of me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're like, so up, much for being shake quiet. It off, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the stuff you need um, someone recording, so you could have made money off of this that. This is true. Video, right. I'm sure. America's Funniest Home Video. Why is it so TikTok? funny? You know that TikTok All stuff? I don't know. I understand it. You know? How do people have their cameras out constantly filming this stuff? Uh, listen, I'm a content creator. We do social media, yeah. and I think the same thing. Like they, the amount of time it's taking you to like set your camera up here, yeah. move it. Like I watched one the other day where the guy, a guy cleaned his stove, deep mm-hmm. cleaned his stove. So it had a shot, taking the knobs off, taking this knob off, mm-hmm. taking that knob off. And then spray, I mean, spray, cut, spray. Cuts, it's right, yes. Yeah, it's so much work. It's a lot of work. I've um, done some video editing and I know I'm not a pro at it. So I know it takes me longer than it probably does these people that do it all the time. But. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It takes a lot of time. And I'm like, all of that just to post one TikTok? Right. I mean, maybe they're making money off of it. We we haven't made any money off of ours yet. (laughs) 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 We'll get there one day. And by the time we get there, the trend will change. Yeah. And it'll be some other new app that's the best thing to do. I mean, when I was younger, it was YouTube and it Mm -hmm. was like vlogging or like, I also watched all the makeup videos and it was like one hour video maybe. Yeah. And there was like maybe two or three cuts in Mm -hmm. it. But nowadays like a TikTok video is like 20 seconds or something, but they have like a lot of, it's like too much. I get sometimes overwhelmed. Uh, I'm like, what is that? That's why I don't have TikTok. Yeah. But I have Instagram. Instagram is the same. Yeah. I was going to say, I watch the reels on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. than I do. Oh, so I thought TikTok. Reels was just Facebook. So Reels is no, the it's same also on Instagram. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Because it's Meta, like one company. Okay. So they have, yeah. So yeah. how much I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do advertising here for Meta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Meta, will you be a sponsor yeah. of our podcast, please? <laughs> We're giving you lots of shout outs here. Oh my gosh. No, we. so when we make a video, like Elena helped do a lot for Bobcats, Bobcat Ooh, yeah. Baseball and mm-hmm. Softball. We were trying to just get people to know them, the players, and make them feel more like a part of our community. And um, so we had to post it to TikTok, Mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, and X. X. So it's, you know, and it's a lot. And like they say, you know, marketing wise, different content works better on different things. And I'm like, who has time for that. So I'm like, make one video, post it to all of the things, Mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll reach some different markets, but... I mean, you can see that Facebook and TikTok are the most, because Mm -hmm. TikTok, younger generation, Mm -hmm. like the softballers and baseballs use a lot of TikTok, but Facebook for their parents, maybe, so the parents can see it. I'm just going to say, this is going to keep you young. (laughs) Yeah. be able to hit every platform for each generation. I was going to say, I'm telling you, like, that's one thing I love about this job, and I hope that you do too, but you never know what you're going to do in a day. Mm -hmm. Like I'll have my to-do list and then it's, we'll get a random call. Hey, will you, can you help me do this? And we're always learning something new Mm -hmm. and it could be putting together a shelf. It could be cleaning, but then also, you know, obviously websites and socials and, you know, learning Snapchat, learning TikTok. And Mm -hmm. 
it's just it's fun and if you don't learn and you don't adjust with the times then you you're gonna fall behind yes. yeah and you have to have change in a business for it to continue to be successful mm -hmm. so I've really enjoyed having Elena here. You know, she's from Germany. How did you get here? <laughs> I'll yeah. let her tell you a story. <laughs> it wasn't my choice. <laughs> let me tell you like that. <laughs> it wasn't her top choice. Yeah. No. So, no, I got a scholarship from the U.S. Uh, Congress and German Bundestag, German Parliament. And so my scholarship says... The first half studying, so I went to Bob uh, Bobcats. I'm yeah. gonna say <laughs> frontier, yeah. yeah. And then the second half, I had to work internship, and that's why I'm here right now. And when I said the organization, like the organization where you want, they ask us where we want to get placed, and I said, yeah, Illinois sounds good, but Chicago wise, like maybe suburbs of <laughs> Chicago or like a bigger city. It's way better down we're south than it is up there. Yeah, <laughs> we're suburbs, <laughs> yeah. according to a lot of people. So you know, Chicago land is big, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here. Yeah, and they said either you go to Fairfield or you don't go to America at all. And I said, yeah, of I'll, course, I'll I go. will take it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm. The, fir uh, the first weeks was really hard because I didn't have a car, and without a car, you can't go anywhere. Right, there's no public transportation, mm -hmm. really, really, besides rides, yeah. you know. But now I really enjoy it, and we also talked with Claire about it, like this life, this small town life, American small town life, I will never get in Chicago or like in New York, mm -hmm. I don't know what bigger city. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice, I really enjoy it. And it's Good. almost over, I have to, month like three months yeah. left and then i'm back in germany <laughs> two months here and then she gets to travel around for a month or so before mm. she heads back and but yeah we we talked about that because no one in germany is going to fly in right. to st louis and drive to fairfield as a destination well, they're going to go say, see these you, big yeah. cities yeah. communicate with your family regularly <laughs> then FaceTime, FaceTime, WhatsApp, like we use WhatsApp. Oh uh -huh. yeah. And then yeah, WhatsApp, FaceTime every time, nearly like every day, nearly. Sometimes Good. I say to my She'll mom, mom, nothing big happened. I'm just working. <laughs> we don't have to talk every day. I like, know still. I know. Mama misses you. <laughs> and as a mom, yes. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. My daughter, uh, Hallie, she just went to Kansas State University. Uh -huh. That was too far for me. Oh, you know, something yeah. happened. I just couldn't get there in yeah. a few hours it was an eight hour drive just to manhattan oh my god when she graduated she moved out to lakin and that was 13 hours from oh home. and i kept saying i wish she would call why doesn't she call and check in you and i don't want to bother her because i right. know she's busy right well, i found out that she didn't call because she got homesick Aww. Yeah. She would hear what we were doing and she wanted uh -huh. to be at home. And yeah. I'm like, careful, I'll cry. So we need to stop yeah. that. Aww. <laughs> That's hard. That was why she wouldn't call. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. Mm -hmm. When I yeah. graduated, um, I went to SIU Carbondale. I didn't realize you could go wherever you wanted <laughs> right. to college. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It was like Eastern, SIU. Like that was the places you could go to in my mind. But anyways, I went to SIU and then I moved to Colorado on an internship. I lived in Keystone. And um, I remember like after the first night or two calling my mom and I'm like, I'm coming home, you know, <laughs> like because it's just strange people, strange environment, completely different environment mm -hmm. than what I've been used right. to. Complete. I mean, just I say strange people, but people with just completely different backgrounds, completely different mindsets. And it was so overwhelming for me. And I'm like, I'm coming home. She's like, give it. What'd she say? Give me, give it three weeks. If in three weeks you mm -hmm. still feel like you want to come home, you can come home, you know? And I'm so thankful that she did that and gave me that like tough yeah. love <clears throat> speech because that ended up being some of the best years of mm -hmm. my life being yeah. out there and, and being around people that had different backgrounds yeah. and different thought processes mm -hmm. and, um, you know, growing up in a very Republican community, being around people that had thoughts different than different, that. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just, it was very, like, just awakening for me. And I was out of my little bubble, and mm -hmm. I, I thoroughly enjoyed talking to people and learning why they believed what they believed or thought what they thought. Right. And yeah, it was, it was a great experience. So yeah. I said, I'm going to highly recommend my kids, even maybe before college, go do an internship or just move somewhere different see the world, see yeah. The world. yeah because at 18 years old 
You don't know what she wants to do. Who knows what they want to do? I didn't find out till I had two babies and was, you know, 33 years old. Right. Hey, I'm going to start a marketing business, you know? Yeah. You know, that was one thing, which we're involved in 4-H. My kids started, Hallie was eight, I think, when she started. So Megan would have been five. So she started as a clover bud. Wow. But um, any opportunity that came up, any workshops or things that they wanted to try, let's try it. You don't know. You may like that. Right. You know, so any opportunity. We, we've driven all over Kingdom Come. <laughs> 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 Went to camps and leadership uh-huh. conferences and whatever they wanted. We just did it because I said at 18, when you guys have to decide when you're going to college, mm-hmm. what do you want to be when you grow up? I want you to have these experiences to try it, yes. see it, live it. One hundred percent. It's like Megan. She's she always said, "I am not going into ag. I'm sick of ag. I'm tired of ag. <laughs> I've grown always, up with it. Yeah, she, you, know. you know, we farm. We yeah. have the livestock, and she's mm. she's just sick of. I'm going to be a teacher, and I'm okay, okay, you to be a teacher. <laughs> and I told Jeremy, I said, just support her. Right, she's got to figure it out on her mm-hmm. own. And she was in her first education class within that first week. I am never. <laughs> I said, well, we knew that. that we, <laughs> yeah. You needed to figure mama that out on your knows, own. Yeah, mama so, knows your best. Needless to say, she's a vet tech. She graduates in May from Murray as a vet tech. Oh. I'm like, oh, and that's not ag at all. No. That's not an ag degree no, at all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're not working with animals. Yeah. yeah. But she loves it. Good. And she always has loved it. So Good. anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, what else? So... 4-H. What's your job? We didn't even talk about what oh, you right. do. Yeah. I'm well, like, I'm the Wayne County Treasurer <laughs> and Collector. In There's the building. Two parts to that job. Yeah. Treasurer and Collector. Of course, the Collector part makes sense. You know, you collect the property taxes that everybody just <laughs> love you have a fun job yes. don't you yes. state, like illinois where the property taxes are really high i guess yeah. people enjoy it yeah. <laughs> they love it and <laughs> ours are always due right there around christmas mm-hmm. <sighs> who wants to pay oh, that at christmas and try to no get one. christmas for their children yeah no i one hate does. that no i keep does. thinking maybe we'll start maybe like next year we can get it a month earlier and then mm-hmm. a month earlier. Yeah, slowly adjust from, it yes. so it's not, yeah. Get I think away from that Christmas season. That's a great idea. And then treasurer, you know, I just the finances for the county. I invest the monies and try to get the best uh, <laughs> deals that we can for our, for our money. Interest rates yes. and stuff. And we've, yeah. got, we've got a little bit scattered all over for yeah. trying to... So do you have a finance background or? I don't. No. No. So that's just a new part took, that you've learned yep, I've since. I've learned that. Yeah. Wow. I had some accounting classes. I did work at the school in Wayne City for yeah. 15 years. And I did their small. Books. Yeah, I did their books and yeah. I did a small amount of their um, CDs and mm. things there for, mm-hmm. for the school. But not at this level. Yeah. So I had some background yeah. in it but I never went to school for finance yeah. and I had some accounting classes but my degree is actually in management oh okay is what my degree is in wow so, so for anyway. how long are you doing it now um, I've doing? just started my second year oh okay. this is so my well. first term so and it's an elected it's, position it's elected so wow. I have four years uh. and then I have to well I guess in three years I have to rerun uh. yeah for the next term I love it yeah. I absolutely <laughs> love it I'm so glad I just I I the people that I work with are Fabulous. Yes, we have a birthday today yes, for today one of your Shelby's girls. Shelby's birthday. Oh, Shelby birthday. Gonzalez. I believe she's, well, I'm not going to say. Yeah. It's her 29. birthday. 29. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she's 29. I'm trying to think. She actually may be I think it's 37. I was going to say, I'm 37. So that's not too far off mm-hmm. for Shelby because she's she's a little bit like younger than me. But yeah, yeah happy birthday to Shelby. And who else birthday. works in your office with you? I have Kathy you? Duggar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's um, been there for 19 years now. Yeah. Wow. wow. Shelby, so she she's seen her. a lot of yes. rollover, which before you it was Donna Masterson. And she was there for quite a yes. while then. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yeah. So then um, Shelby, she just had her work anniversary. Oh, I love <laughs> it was, that. Um, last week, I believe. Okay. How so long? She's been there a year. A year. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. So she's been there a year. And Happy work anniversary. Been there just a little over a year. And yeah. then Kathy for 19. Yeah, we have a good group. Wow. So it's good. also like a girl group. It I is. Yeah. yeah. Girl gang. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Now, that's what I said when I was like, 
Elena, you know, is, is replacing Mark today. I gave him the morning off, and just because I wanted to do a podcast with Elena, I hadn't got to do one yet. And I was like, oh, we got a girl gang there today. We go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. And I wore my hot pink pants. I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling extra girly today. So, oh my gosh. All right. So, 4 H, I wanted to talk more about that oh, because yeah. that was something I was really involved in as a kid. Do you guys have 4-H or anything like that? You and guys have to explain it for okay. me, and then I can say what that yeah. is because I don't okay. So it's, um, I mean, it covers everything from, like, showing cattle, showing pigs, um, and then you can, it has, like, um, sewing or public speaking. I mean, literally, it's just, like, a group. Uh-huh. And you can be involved in it. I mean, you could probably explain it way can better than over? I am. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take over? Yes. I did that for 10 years. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Um, 4-H, um, yeah. near and dear to my heart. Yes. I love it. If I hadn't have seen the benefits of 4-H with my children, mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't have supported it as much as I do. Yeah. But... It, it is, like I call it a supplemental educational program yeah. for youth. Because, not I mean, it's ran through the University of Illinois Extension. Extension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we also, as the program coordinators, go into classrooms. So any school in Wayne County, high school, grade school, whatever, we can take programs in. My son-in-law actually took my position, and he just did solar eclipse. Oh, like education? Educational programs at Wayne City in yeah. a couple of days. Um, he's been working here in Fairfield High School. He's got me signed up to do um, mock interviews coming up. Love that. So that's in the high school classes. So, I mean, we have different yeah. projects, program areas that we focus on, but we have the education for school districts. Mm-hmm. But then when you're working with your youth, we have clubs throughout the county. Okay. I, I'm the leader of Wayne City 4-H Club. I think we have 22 members in that club. We meet once a month. We go over what's going on in 4-H, what workshops are coming up. Fair, of course, is coming up in July. So we're yeah. working hard on getting project talks in. So you, you're going to take a project. Let's say you're doing welding. Mm-hmm. You're going to do crops. So you're mm-hmm. going to come up and you're going to tell the whole club about your project, what you do, what you've learned, what you like about it. Oh, Would you do this okay. again? That gets them comfortable talking mm-hmm. and public speaking. Mm-hmm. That helps build them uh-huh. in those characteristics. For future, you know. Yeah. Like, so then, you know, you do that in your in your club. Then when you get to fair and you have to talk to a judge about your program, your your club mates, your peers, your your leaders, the parents, they've already asked you all these questions, so you are ready to talk to your mm-hmm. judge. And then if you win there, if you get selected for state fair, you get to go up and do it all over again. That's always the goal. Yeah. Okay. So is it voluntary? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And everyone can be part of the group? Yes. So also, like, because you said it was in your youth, so you were a kid and yeah. it was an Oh, okay. So yeah. Clover Bud uh-huh. are the little ones. They're from five to seven years old. That's, we're getting them prepared for mm-hmm. the 4-H. That's non-competitive. So, like, what kind of projects would they do for five to seven? They can do whatever Anything, they want. Anything, really. Whatever they pick up. If they want to do a rock collection. That's It's fun. just getting them used to saying, hey, like look at my pretty skills. rocks that yeah. I picked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's just and getting them prepared. Speaking, uh-huh. Yeah, and then um, 8 to 18 is 4-H age by September 1st. And once you hit 18, you've graduated out. And mm-hmm. You're an adult now. Now you get to help yeah. train the kids. Oh, so yeah. oh okay. Mm-hmm. Then your role changed in the 4-H. And if you want to stay with it. Mm-hmm. And then you can be a helper. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then Advocate. Advi- yeah. 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 So my oldest daughter, mm-hmm. she's, and I always told them, I said, as soon as you guys get out, you have to find some place to volunteer. Everybody needs to do community service of some sort. Give back. And I said, you guys are very good at 4-H. You need to find yourself a role. So Hallie, she actually was an extension program coordinator in Lake and Kansas for a year before she moved back home. And then Ryan took the (laughs) Richland County before he came to Wayne County. Oh, cool. So, I mean, we still are very heavily involved in 4-H, but she's actually the livestock, livestock judging coach. Okay. So that's what, so that's what I did as a kid. We did, we raised pigs, sold pigs. Mm Mm-hmm. And um, it was, yeah, it taught me a lot about just being comfortable in front of Mm -hmm. people. (laughs) And, um, you know, you have to dress the part. You have to look nice. We'd get our hair French braided for Mm -hmm. it, you know, and you'd go around and and show them. And then also sewing. My grandma was a, uh, and grandpa were quilters. 
And so they had high hopes yeah. that we would be too. I've always <laughs> so told them if there is something that you enjoy doing, there is a Try project it. for it. Yeah. We even have esports now. Oh, cool. So I mean, you can sit down and play a Fun. video game. And oh, my a, kids. Yeah, a, there we go. Felix know, is electronics, in. Electronics. Yeah. There's, there's computers. There's, I mean, so Hallie and Megan, both sh they all showed um, <coughs> cattle, rabbits, chickens, mm -hmm. vegetable gardening, sewing. No, they didn't do sewing. I took that back. So you can Cooking, participate in as photography. Yeah. 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 Photography. Yeah. We did that some, yeah, we too. Had, they usually had about 13 projects that they took every wow. year. Really nice. Community service was one. Yeah. Because and it helps the kids like to build social skills mm -hmm. and also to say like to know okay what I what do I like and mm -hmm. what do I yes. want to be in the future for do for exactly. a living and honestly it builds your resume at a young age yeah. too you can put on there especially if you make it to state or you know what oh, I mean yeah. like that's a big deal so it's a in whole America and then I'd oh. say is it all across America yes. does every state have it yes okay in Jamaica Puerto Rico wow. Um, Gosh, yeah, guys, I've been out long enough. I can't remember. But yes. Yeah, Beth told us not to ask any, don't hard, ask me questions. any hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts really small, like just Wayne County, and then when you win a project, you go higher, like maybe for to like state. The sports, so something. Illinois yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. and then I don't know. There, I'm assuming there's a national one too. If you win, there state. is a national 4-H, but we've nobody's. I don't think ever they made go it. That yeah, far. I mean, like, they don't. Oh, okay. Do a okay present a uh, yeah. competition for yeah. Did Wayne national. County come to? the states we do yeah. we go to springfield oh okay mm -hmm. that's where nice. our, it's our Which capital not chicago yeah. i didn't know if you knew that <laughs> i know that <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i always wanted to go to uh, springfield everyone said there's nothing just don't go there so uh, i always go to the chicago <laughs> yeah it's definitely no chicago but it's it's got a great i mean it's got great things to it too but um, I wanted to say really fast, Jessica Simpson from the um, Extension office is oh, saying, yay, 4 eight. So, hi, Jessica. Thanks I for love joining you, us. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, too. Grady She's is one of um, our Mule Nation and workers. That, and he's, that young man, <gasps> I'm telling he wouldn't you. speak to me. <laughs> oh. I mean, when he was growing up, he, he would come shy. into the office yeah. and he would sit, and I would come out in my, my office and I'd talk to him, mm. and he would just put his head down oh. and he wouldn't speak. And now... Look at him. He's blossomed. I think Snapchat did it for him. <laughs> he used to Snapchat. Well, he'd be at, they'd be at Lily's ball games, uh -huh. and he'd take his mom's phone, and we would Snapchat back and forth, and maybe that's what brought him out of his shell. I don't I know. It. But yeah, for me, knowing Grady from a little age, yes. and being so shy, yes. to now he's doing Mule Nation. Yeah, yeah. and we even get him talking on there. Like, Isn't that something? Yeah, he'll get on there, and he's... he's He's coming out of his shell a little bit yeah. on there, too. He which is. Anytime you're behind a mic, it takes you a little bit to, like, get the confidence to talk, you know? Even for me, who would talk to a pole. But he's doing a great job. We miss him because he's doing tennis. He does tennis in the spring, mm -hmm. so we don't, get, um, we don't get him on the podcast or on the streams as much. But... I just he'll be back. He'll be back. Once, yeah. But either there, there was really good. Like I talked with him, and yeah. I mean, he's really fun to talk. I get to talk. He's and then, fun, and yeah. you love Bob, and yeah. Bob and Grady are you yeah. know thick as thieves too. So yeah. I, I can see you guys <laughs> would all hit it off well. So we actually have our little team building thing tonight. We're all going right. to La Fuente. There's really going to be like oh, fun. 80, yeah, the back 90, room, both back rooms. Oh, we have wow. like 80 or 90 of us going. All and this is for. And for Bobcat, Bobcat and Mule Nation. I invited everyone. Wow. And all of the athletes. That'd be fun. It's going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be a good well, time. Excited. My husband asked if I needed to take a loan out to <laughs> pay the bill tonight. <laughs> so I am accepting donations. You can Venmo, <laughs> Seavon86. <No. laughs> so oh, it's for the kids. Yeah, it's for the kids. Um, I've always said that. It's for the kids. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So that my Venmo shout out made me think we were driving one day and my husband had never seen it before the car uh, where they take like the marker on the back and write um you know it's my 21st birthday um, Venmo uh -huh. at blah 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 and he was like that's hilarious he's like I'm gonna Venmo him and I think he was gonna send like five dollars and I, I was like 
25, like send her 21. It's her 21st <laughs> birthday. He's like, oh, that's a way better idea. So he like deleted it and sent 21 bucks. Have He's fun. like, that's brilliant. Like, buy goes, Elko. Yeah, right? He goes, I'm going to put that on the back of my truck and see how many. <laughs> right. Just turning 21. <laughs> I like, just look older. That, that old man, there's no way. He's 21. Uh, wait, wait, it's Benjamin Button. Wait till we hit 50. Maybe they'll do that. What? Wait, wait till we hit 50. Yeah. Maybe they'll do a 50. And then I want 50 bucks. Yeah. 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 My 40th is coming up in two years, so <laughs> I will be Venmoing. You guys get ready. I want my 40 it's bucks. Boss. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, another thing I wanted to chat about was Rotary. So we're both oh, yeah. members of Rotary, and um, I really enjoy it. I just joined, I like, maybe a year ago, I think I started going. Mm, I probably, yeah. 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 And um, it's really, it's open to anyone that wants to come. I I was called a homeless person last week. You can, It was so funny. I, you should have seen her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Was last week the week that I did the... Um, was Libby the speaker last week? Yes. You remember that? Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. So I she asked wanted her. to plug for her. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Libby was talking about solar eclipse, and she was talking about, like, where all these people came from and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, like, I'm just curious. When you talk to these people, what brought them here, you know? And she's mm-hmm. like, of course, Claire and her amazing marketing team. And I was like, I was so embarrassed. She planned it. I know. She my, planned I it. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> my face got so red. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sullivan was like, if I could have got a picture of how red your face was, I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. And the whole room no, was whole laughing was and making fun of me. Libby had already plugged her, you know, thanks for mm-hmm. Claire, right, right. right. done. And, and Can you know, say this. it one more time yeah. for the people so in the back? <laughs> how amazing. <laughs> As I look homeless. Right. I had my beanie on. Listen, it was like a rainy day. And I, yeah. we were talking about, I can't pull my hair back. I'm not a, like a cute, like pull my hair back girl and so I was like beanie it is today you know and I debated going because I'm like everyone else always looks so nice they wear their nice clothes Mm. every day and I'm in like leggings a hoodie and a beanie it's like why no one tells what's the dress code right exactly (laughs) I think I was underdressed let me just say that but but no it's such a fun group I have a great time and we do all give each other a hard time but it's a fun Um, It's a fun group, and you hang out with people that you typically wouldn't. You know, Mm -hmm. everyone's always like, how do you make friends as an adult? Mm -hmm. And that's my, you know, that's my networking. That's how I make friends. And, you know, that's how really we met, and we started talking. And, you know, Chris Connor, love him, and Megan. Like, I just, I really enjoy it. So if anyone is... I mean, you don't have to be a business owner. You, you know. Yeah, I'm not a business owner. So I guess I have the farm, but that's right. I mean, yeah. 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 But it's a great networking place for for adults, and we just meet once a week and have lunch, and um, yeah, I enjoy even the programming. We have yes, I've learned so much, but I didn't know everything that was here in town and what was going on, and every now and then we get my. Who's yeah. that? What's that going to be? About? I know. It's I like exciting. getting the email I do too. every week yeah. telling us who, what we're eating, yeah. what we're eating, <laughs> yeah. and then um, who the program speaker is going to be. And typically, it's someone in town that has a small business or just something going on. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, Libby and the chamber was there last week, and we've had the college come. We've had. Um, oh gosh, Chad Barbary. I was going to say Chad yeah. with the his like Be all tech. Yes. Yep. And he came and. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in joining, give us a call or yeah, um, we have a good time. We do. It's a it's a mm-hmm. lot of fun. I look forward to it every Thursday, and I'm always sad on the days that I well, I like can't. La- the week before, yeah, I couldn't get there. I tried my hardest. But I was like, darn it, I, I missed know. it. Oh yeah, you were we were shooting cattle. cattle. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. shooting, but sh- working down the shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Lane was like, ah, no. you, <laughs> you owe me. I'm missing Rotary to help yes. out today. You owe me. Right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, I don't like to miss. I know. I try not to, but man, there's some months that it's like, yeah, you know. Sometimes it's well, it, it goes too much going on. Right yes, now. definitely. Yeah. Um, another thing going on, I don't know if you know about it. Have you heard about the car show coming? No. May 18, I the Lions to. Club is hosting a car show out at 
Leo the French Park. Fun. Yeah. Haven't had one in a long, long time. And we're like, you know, let's bring that back. <coughs> I'm going to make sure that I get that. So um, is it on my old event. timers or? It's a little bit of everything. And I think you motorcycles. Said lions? Too. Lions. Should Club. I go with my Fiat 500 there? Yes. <laughs> It's a freaking, I mean, that's a sight right there. And she zooms around in town in that little <laughs> Fiat 500. I love it. I love it. I'll bring my minivan, too. Yeah. Listen, uh-huh. minivans aren't bad. Like, once people ride in it, they're, they're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, this is so much <laughs> I'm not, nope. No. I get sick in them. I don't know. Something what? about those mini- Yeah. My husband loves it. I he wants to it. sit in the back every time. He's like, it's so spacious. Mm-hmm. It's like a living room back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well that's fun okay so it's may 18th, may 18th at, at leo, leo french. french okay yeah i'm gonna make sure i make a slide so i can keep bringing that up on the on the podcast because we do upcoming local um, events so I'm not sure we have a facebook page okay lions does yes and i want to say david savage is the one that's in charge okay. of that okay the Lions, the Lions Club. The Lions Club. I don't have my glasses on. They're Let me get focused. It, yeah, you're fine. They're. Uh, I'm getting hot in here. They are another civic group like Rotary, mm-hmm. um, which we didn't even talk about Rotary. Um, we also are very involved in the community oh, and give back. And others oh, not yet. Yeah. Here it is. Fairfield. Can you see it? Fairfield Illinois Lions Club. Yeah. That's Fairfield good. Fairfield Lions Club. Yeah. Yeah. They just Check started that, that page. We had the press do us a. Um, a flyer and it's not on that page for some reason. Yeah. I'll have to see if Make I can sure get, maybe it's on there. On. Yes. In my yeah. town in Germany, we also have a Lions Club, but it's for kids. And all oh, I have yeah. to think all of the kids, yeah. like the kids organizing in a car show, nice. No, this is the, the Lions, <laughs> they're more funny. of a, it's another community service organization <clears throat> that I, I belong to, but it's, we do a lot of vision tests. Mm-hmm. For, we go into schools and check the vision of kids we've got this machine i've never seen it used and i'd really like to do it i'd like to see it but they can check even babies eyes oh, wow. to see what's wrong if they mm-hmm. need glasses or not mm-hmm. and we've we've sent several who didn't know that they needed glasses mm-hmm. and to the optometrist yeah. and needed them so it's a good thing is it a gadget where you pull oh, it's like a camera oh no, it's okay. a camera yeah, wow, I don't know. I've really never cool. seen it. I'm not. I've you only can't heard come with that gadget here, and so we yeah. can. <laughs> I've only seen it. or heard only heard them talk about it, but I guess it can scan your eye mm-hmm. and get it within just. I don't know how you measure an eye. I know. Just within. Hey, maybe we decimals need to, of what you need. Maybe we need to put uh, Doctor Stodder on our guest there list. There you go. You know, have him come yeah. in and talk. He does so good, by the way. I had to take the kids for eye exams before they went to kindergarten Felix and you know kids are just uncomfortable and and they made them feel so welcome they had candy Uh, yeah they were just fun and they gave them like t-shirts and I mean it was they do a great job with kids and I really appreciate that as a mom I never thought about Felix being five in Mm. kindergarten he's six now we need to be thinking about 4-H I know know. something else on your plate I know I love it do not say I'm too busy because nobody was busier than I was at that (laughs) point in time and we did it I believe it and like so Felix is my uh, more of an introvert he's super funny and and can be very outgoing but for the most part he's more introverted and likes to just be inside, and he loves Fortnite, he loves video games and videos, you know. And so we did sign him up for T-ball again this year. Well, I guess he's coach pitch this year. But he, I would definitely want to, you know, just help him yeah. learn more of the social skills, and I think it would be really beneficial for him. And then Maddox is my wild one. He's four, so he'll be five in August. Um, and he definitely just needs to <laughs> learn how to calm down. <laughs> He, like Elena will come back from lunch and he's like just standing on her table like but on her <laughs> desk just, I'm like is he in your way do I need to get him down like he's not hurting anyone so I'm trying not to you know interrupt him right, <laughs> right. she's like, like on the know. table Danielle. <laughs> yeah. we running around like we a wild man one one year Jeremy worked out in Texas for six months mm. and it was coming up on junior leadership conference and Hallie was enrolled for that Mm -hmm. and we also had a rabbit show in Mount Carmel and Megan was enrolled in that like how am I gonna be said okay if you can come home because he could come home for one week 
mm-hmm. out of that six months to be at home for a little bit. So oh if you could come gosh. home during where you can hit this weekend, mm-hmm. I need to take Hallie to Decatur for junior leadership, and you can take Megan <laughs> yes. to Mount Carmel with the rabbits and do a rabbit show, and then we'll be okay, and then we'll see you. Yep. You know, so divide and mm-hmm. conquer. We did it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy life. I mean, I just feel like the older I get, the quicker life goes by, and that's why you have the kids yep. and and. <clears throat> Oh, Hello, is. everyone. I think an upset driver was honking at a construction worker. Is that a construction worker honking at a driver? I don't know what's going on out there. Well, but a big truck, I guess. Wow. Yeah. I'm so excited, hey, though. We're doing a podcast. Can right. Could <laughs> you, you, you guys quiet down? I'm so excited that they're finally doing the roads, though. Yes. I'm so we excited. We had road construction signs up out coming from Wayne City. I kept thinking. It's supposed to start, no, uh, it's supposed to start April 9th. Oh. And still nothing's on really? that side but yeah. then this morning it went it across on i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> finally <laughs> yeah well i was driving you know i live on east of town so i'm driving in and the right lane's open on this one way and i like looked at the guy i'm like can i turn left like is it okay to cross over he's like go ahead I'm like okay good because i don't how am i gonna get to my mm-hmm. work yeah. every day mm-hmm. but i'm not complaining i'm super thankful i cannot wait for these roads to be done and then uh, I'm gonna get new carpet out there on the steps. That's my once that that's oh, yeah. done. I'm getting yeah. some new carpet. Mm-hmm. It'll make it look nice out there. But um, okay, I'm gonna go over this week's broadcast. Well, I guess it was last Tuesday, April 9th. FCHS baseball lost three to one to Edwards County, falling six and six overall and one and one in the Black Diamond Conference. Um, and then on Friday we had Bobcats softball and baseball. Uh, Bobcats baseball split a doubleheader versus Southwestern Illinois College, winning game one, six to four. Carly Bean hit a two-run home run in the first inning and also broke a strikeout record, uh, throwing her 100th strike strikeout out in the game. So 100 strikeouts. That's pretty awesome for a two-year college career. Um, Bobcats were down until the sixth inning and scored two to make it six to four. And then game two, Swick held the Bobcats to just one run in seven innings with a final score of eight and one, eight to one. Bobcats baseball won six to five. Aiden Wright had a walk-off hit um, in the bottom of the ninth to win it. It was a really fun game. And then on Saturday, they went to Kaskaskia and ended up sweeping the steer- series against Kaskaskia, winning game one, eight to two, and game two, five to four. Um, I guess game two, the game was tied at four in the top of the 10th. And Bryce Humphrey hit a solo home run to win it. So they like to they like to stress you out. That team does. I swear. <laughs> like there's something about it. They're just like, okay, now it's a challenge. Now we're gonna mm-hmm. somehow pull this off, but we're gonna keep you on the edge of your seats, yeah, you yeah, know? Mm-hmm. So it was um, Friday was a really fun game to watch, and I'm sure Saturday was too. Um, this week, today. We have Bobcats baseball versus Southeastern Illinois College at three, pending the weather. And um, softball is going to Olney, pending weather. And then we will have be streaming FCHS softball versus Hamilton County at 4.30 on Mule Nation. Uh, Thursday, Bobcats softball versus Lakeland at two and four on Bobcat Nation. And then Saturday, we're gonna have Bobcat softball and baseball. Um, Softball will be on Mule Nation and baseball will be on Bobcat Nation. So be sure and check those streams out or go out to the fields. The softball team plays at Southwest Park and then baseball team plays at F&B Field at the college. So those kids are awesome. They work their little booties off, the coaches and everyone does. So go out and support them and they're a lot of fun to watch so so do you stream them yourself you call them I do not do play-by-play okay listen I preach to everyone that works for me I'm like you have to learn every position you know so we can be flexible and I'm like except for me I'm not doing (laughs) play-by-play me too (laughs) we know where to draw the line and no one wants me calling a game so we recently Tammy uh, Revel Anderson reached out and she started helping us do softball play-by-play. And she, I guess, was a softball player. She had girls that played softball. Um, and she's been a huge asset to have. But we pretty much have our, like, you know, Mark Turner, obviously. Bob Ellis, who's leaving us. I know. He's going to college. Um, and then Derek Dunn. 
and then um, Tammy, who just joined us. Mark Wells has been helping out with play by play, and Ken Odie has been helping out with play by play. So, so it's a lot. pretty pretty much, More yeah. Than color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The um, you know play by play is hard in its own way for sure because I can't process that fast mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. say it, you know. Um, but color. There's only a few that I trust with it as well, just because you're also the producer of the stream during that. So you're managing sound, you're making sure you're still online, you're monitoring the chat and hide, you know, there's a lot going on mm -hmm. that you have to kind of keep an eye on. You're making sure no one hit your cameras and you're, you know, everything's in focus. And there's, so I think I kind of annoy people sometimes because I'll be at home watching the stream and I'm like, your scoreboard camera's out of focus, or you know, can you zoom in on that? Can you zoom <laughs> out? And I'm like, that, I hate micromanaging bosses. Like I've had them, but we want to produce a quality stream. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, my phone's blowing up if something's wrong. And oh, you, you know what yeah. I mean? They're like, yeah. hey, can you blah blah blah? And I'm like, it's yeah, really I'm, multi I'm on it. Job. Yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. It's very much a multitasking. It's not something you can get up and go get a popcorn and get. You know what I mean? Like. If you do need a break, you know, it's you just need to make it as quick as possible and get back because luckily this year we haven't had a horrible issue with internet like we did last mm -hmm. year. We've invested some money uh, in So that would better. be an issue around yes. here. It seems like we have trouble a lot. Oh, my internet. gosh. And we, uh, Edwards County was our worst one. Oh, really? And we could not, but we've learned to move to the other side of the gym closer to the router, and that helps. Um, and then Josh Rocket. Um, he was a classmate mate of mine, but I guess he does a tech, has a technology business, and so he set us up with these uh, wireless router things that use a AT and T mm -hmm. SIM card. Um, and because uh, spring sports are the hardest, because some of them are out in that the middle side. of a field. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not even close to the school or civilization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, so they've been a huge blessing for sure. So and that's also what is like what people say wrong in Germany because like Germany internet is worse, really is really bad. Is it? Yeah, and everyone said the internet in America is really good. It is not. I don't know how <laughs> they can, but I was like lie. so excited. Yeah, it's a lie. Really, it's not good. <laughs> Like every time when I drive to Mount Vernon or something, there's a 20 minute drive where you don't have no internet, no, like no your signal mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. at all. I what do you? What do you? What's your carrier? Uh, AT and T, Verizon. Yeah, Mint Mobile. Oh, I think okay. it's AT and T. Yes, I don't yeah. have the 20. I, I do okay with my Verizon, but you should live at my house. <laughs> I, mean, I live right off of the well, County Highway 13, mm -hmm. so Kings Blacktop. Yeah, and. Where I live, they say, oh, yo, you're too far off the road. <laughs> What? I'm off the highway. What? Uh, I, I don't understand. Oh I can't gosh. get an internet provider at my house. Really? I have called multiple, cannot get them. So are you able to get the Verizon thing? That, I have the Verizon hotspot spot mm -hmm. is all I have. Mm -hmm. So have you ever tried to run a household? <laughs> off of a hotspot. <laughs> yeah, off of a hotspot. Oh, that takes us so back to. So our phones to have it. So you, know, yeah. you turn your hotspot, your Mm -hmm. Hotspot on your phone, and mm -hmm. it is terrible. It's the same in my apartment. There's no service, and mm. only when you're like in the entry, like it's because you yours is a tin building or a, a pole barn, right? Like a shed, yeah, isn't it? It's really like, like has the yeah. tin roof or whatever. My husband's gonna really hate me that yeah. I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about right now, but but those are the ones that cause the most problems. It's like the metal buildings, yeah. you know. See, and I would like to build. A barnuminium. Yes. And I'm like, okay, what are you gonna do about service? Because I, I already don't have internet. Yeah. So how is my cell service gonna work if I build a barnuminium? I know. Maybe I should ask, talk to Noah. Yeah, talk to Noah. <laughs> talk to Johnny. Johnny, if you're watching, reach out to your vet. You might have a cell here. He yeah. always, I always um, give him a hard time because I, I sold a building to Sean Rush and to Travis and Crystal Vaughn sold a building. They reached out to me and they're like, who do I contact at Walters? I'm like, here's Johnny's number. Uh -huh. And I was like, do I get commission? <laughs> <laughs> Because. <laughs> Right's right, right. I mean, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So now if you vet buys, don't forget me, Johnny. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to do some local birthdays and anniversaries real fast. Hey, shout out Shelby Gonzalez. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's today. <laughs> I love it. Yvette's such a good boss. She said she 
has a little banner up and brought what pretzels, pretzels and cake. cake. And yeah, that's so that's sweet. Cute, yeah. Hey, we have to have a reason to celebrate at yes, some point in time. Yes, have exactly. fun in the office, yes. right? So why not celebrate? I Shelby love and, it. I love it. Yeah. Happy birthday, Shelby. Um, yesterday we had um, happy birthday, Jill Will Williams, um, Caleb Coker, Cam Taylor, Denise Tadlock, my neighbor, Norma Sawyer. Happy birthday, Norma. And Tyler Lampley. Happy birthday to Tyler. Um, today, Shelby Gonzalez, Matta Barnard Gray, Brett Turner, and Jenna Quinn. And then on April 18th, happy birthday to Caroline Westall and Ryan Briggs. April 19th, happy birthday, Tracy Vaughn and Grace Fry. And on April 20th, happy birthday, Josh Atwood. If you guys have birthdays or anniversaries, feel free to send those to RJ on the air at RaylanJames.com so I don't have to pull them from Facebook every week. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it comes in handy, let me tell you. All right, so our question of the day this week was what is your favorite movie? You got a. What's yours? You got a favorite movie? Are you a movie watcher? We don't spend I, a I was lot of say, time watching movies. I, I have several that I like. It's hard to narrow it down uh, to a favorite. My favorite? Probably Mary Poppins. Really? Oh, We're going I old love school. love Mary Poppins. I love that. That's a that's a solid movie. Yeah. Good choice. The old one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I watch it because my mom was always my mom always said, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. And I watch it when I was younger with my mom. It's Aww. really nice. Yeah. I mean, like Wayne's World, you can't go. Like, Wayne's World's just yeah, fun. Fun, right. And the first time. It depends my, what mood you're in, yeah. like what your favorite first movie is. First time my kids watched it with me, I thought they're not going to get it. But mm -hmm. my Megan, I mean, she's on it. She's all the time doing <laughs> Wayne's World's quotes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is great. Um, so you, you're talking about watching Mary Poppins. We'll get back to these answers. But it reminded me, when I um, was in Carbondale, I had mm -hmm. a friend that was from Malaysia. Uh -huh. And, you know, he walked, watched American movies to learn the American culture. And so when they moved here, um, or they came here for college, they got to pick their own name. Like what name they wanted to be known by, because theirs are very hard for us to pronounce. And, so anyways, he picked Daniel Stifler as his oh, name no. from American Pie. American Pie yeah. Did you ever watch American Pie? No, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> so his name was Daniel Stifler. Shout out to Daniel. But yeah, I was like, I had to ask him. I was like, it's like that's not your real name, right? And so he told me the story. And he's like, and that's, you know, that movie I watched and I taught myself English and, you know, by mm -hmm. watching movies like that. So um, my husband's favorite movie was Live, Die, Repeat. Have you guys seen it? Mm -mm. Tom Cruise, it's a Tom Cruise mm -hmm. movie. Um, but yeah, he it's kind of like a video game type simula simulation. He'll get killed in battle and then it starts you over oh, okay. and you go back out and you learn how to do things differently. Uh -huh. Survive a little longer, die. Anyways, it's kind of like a Groundhog's Day type thing, but more of an action mm -hmm. movie. Uh, Groundhog's Day is actually on his top list too, but I love romantic movies. Same. Sleepless in Seattle, or yeah, they're older. Yeah, um, Sleepless in Seattle, and you've got mail with uh -huh. Tom Hanks. Uh, yep. um, also, anything with Julia Roberts, Pretty Woman. I love like the '90s, mm. just romantic. Something to talk about. Yes. Poisoning. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I also really love the movies where you know how it will end. Exactly. And everything, but I. The love, the like notebook. all the cliches. I love the yeah. notebook. 100%. Yeah. I like, it's, you don't have to think. You just, you end the movie. Yeah. And you're happy. You mm -hmm. feel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because that's where those Hallmark channels <laughs> come <Yeah>. in. <laughs> I've never really been a Hallmark channel person, but I, I don't know why. Okay. I know if I turned it on, I would be well, hook, line, and all about. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a love story. You know how it's going to end. Mm -hmm. But that's good. Mm -hmm. I want to feel good when mm -hmm. I'm done. Yeah. I don't want anxiety when yeah. I'm done watching a movie. Um, Mick, well, I'm assuming, actually, sorry, Denise McGuire is uh, Devil Wears Prada. Oh, solid, yeah. Yeah. solid movie. Fabulous. And Mick is Goodwill Hunting. It's a man. Yeah. It's a man. I uh, have that on DVD. Do you? Yeah. Uh, Ken Odie is Shawshank Redemption. It's a good one. Um, Mark Wells loves Forrest Gump. Classic. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's one. I'm, that's a really good movie. I, yes. Mm -hmm. I think so, guys have a separate spot in their brain where they can remember movie lines, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And they can quote them. 
But that's one that I could probably do a lot of quotes lot from. Of quotes you know, from them. yeah, yeah. When we went to took the kids to Georgia a few years ago for Christmas, the bench is gone because so many people have picked pieces of oh. the bench where at the bus stop where yeah. he was at. But we got to stay in a location oh. where he was at on that. That's so in cool. Savannah. That's yeah. why I also wanted to go to Atlanta and Savannah uh-huh. to like see everything. There's also the spot where like four states are in one. Is that's in yeah. Georgia, right? Is well, there's all, there's is four in corners in Colorado. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. in Colorado. That, those were the spots like my in my bucket yes. list. Yes, yeah. you haven't got to do it. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cool thing to get to stand in four states at once. I've actually got to do that. Um, Lizanne says uncommon valor. I don't know that I know I that, that one. one. And Shannon Halbaugh says, Gone with the Wind. Oh, it's a classic yes, as it's well. A classic. That was on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, all good choices, y'all. And thank you for yeah. chiming in on your favorite movies. Did you say yours? I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I have a favorite series, but favorite movie is like, so Love Rosie. Do you know that? I don't it's know. with Lily Collins and Sam Cleflin. It's uh, really nice. Yeah. And, um, it's new one, the hating game. It's like cliche and it's fine, <laughs> really. But I just love it. I can because I don't like to rewatch movies. Yeah. But those are the movies I can rewatch. Yes. All in all. Yes. So yeah, both. Yeah. Yeah, and like Home Alone and everything. And when you're in Germany and watching that, I like when I was little, I watched in German. Uh-huh. The synchronizing is really good in German, but yeah. nowadays I watch it in English. Yeah. And. and like when I was in New York, I was like, "Oh my God, that's like the Statue of Liberty where you saw it yeah. in the movie, or like uh, the Plaza yeah. Hotel from yeah. like um, yeah. Home Alone, Home Alone in New York." Yeah. yeah. When Trump's walking out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make an yeah, that's, in it. yeah. It's really like all of them was like far away from me yeah. when you're little. It's like, is it really real or yeah. something you thought? And when you're like going there, that's why I listen. My favorite series is Modern Family. I oh. love this. I can watch it all over. High five. Yes. Love me some modern yeah. family. And that's why when I'm on the West Coast, I really want to go to their houses yeah. and then see yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a, and that's like you said, I don't like to rewatch series really or shows. Friends, obviously, I can oh, watch, I rewatch can, yeah. Friends. And then Modern Family. And it's I like it. comedy genius. Like Phil is just. So funny, yeah. and it's just these little Luke. yeah yeah film like they're good. <laughs> yeah. That's, so if you didn't watch it, you have to. <laughs> yes, everyone, go check out Modern yeah. Family. It is awesome. Um, okay, we got so about four like minutes. Germany, so then... El- Elena's got the trivia for mm-hmm. us today. So don't feel bad if you don't know it. I probably won't know it either. Yeah. But so it's trivia question about Germany. So it's <laughs> oh, Germany, goodness. if you didn't know. <laughs> And I, I have multiple choice. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I try to do it from easiest to hardest, but yeah, and we'll see. some of them is like <laughs> I did it myself. Like, what could be a good question? So we will see. Yeah. So what is the capital of Germany? Munich. <laughs> no, <laughs> no idea. That would be so fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you. I've told you, as Americans, we are very. <laughs> um, dense Mm -hmm. when it comes to the rest of the world Mm -hmm. especially myself i'll speak for myself it's berlin berlin yeah it's close i should know that i'm sorry mr wells i did not pay attention (laughs) uh which time we were doing those classes why did we need to know this exactly exactly you you learn it and then you move on yeah i know pass the test and go on (laughs) in germany we always say like america Oh yeah, like, stupid yes. Americans. But since yes. I'm here, I kind of understand it because America is so big and you have your own problems and everything. Yeah. And Germany is like close to other countries and you automatically know what's happening. Right. I saw someone talking about that the other day and I never thought about that before. How we literally, our country is as big as... I mean, I it's mean, a whole continent. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. And. Um, they don't have to have passports, you know, mm. to just like they just. Oh, in the yeah. Union, yeah. EU, Union, EU, yeah, Union, EU, UN, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Which currency is used in Germany? Oh gosh. Remember, I said like we are in the EU and uh-huh. yeah, European Union. Uh, yen, so European is yen. it yen? Yeah. European yen, European uh, euro, it's euro, euro. Okay. Yen is uh, China. Japan, China, China. How many official langu- languages has Germany? Three. Oh. Just 
Geffen. Two. One. One. <laughs> I thought it was German. a trick question. I did too. Yeah. So maybe this question you will, guys you will know. What is the highway system called in Germany? Oh, I should know this. The highway system? Uh-huh. Called in Germany. I've heard it. I know it. I know it. Um, but I can't think. Autobahn. Autobahn. Autobahn, yes. yes. Uh, what is the most famous sport in Germany? Football. Yes. I was going to say soccer. soccer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the other question was also like how we call it and football. football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the name for Germany in the German language? Oh. Maybe you ever heard of it. What is the name for of Germany, Germany like well, in the German, Germany. how you say it in yeah. the German language? It's really long. Yeah, I'm not going to know Deutschland. that. Deutschland. Deutschland. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Deutschland. Yeah. What colors are on the German flag? <laughs> This is embarrassing. Green? No. Uh, I don't know. It's black, red, and then yellow. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. But don't ask me why. I don't, I don't <laughs> What's know. What's the that. significance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's make you look dumb for a second, yeah. Elena. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How many countries share a border with Germany? Oh. Four? Close. More. Six. More. Ten. Eight. Eight. One less. Nine. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking six. Because it's a lot Twice. of little... Nine. Yeah. Nine, wow. It's Switzerland. I was gonna it's say. in the south. Then comes Luxembourg, Netherlands, Belgium, and then Denmark, Poland, Czech Republic, Austria, and France. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, I had no idea that was that many. That's yeah. amazing. I knew there were several, but I didn't yeah. know. I think it's one of the countries which has a lot of... Uh, the most. Yeah. Share border. How many states are there in Germany? Oh my so gosh. I didn't know that you had capitals and you had states. I didn't. I don't guess you I realized, realized that, that. There was the same as what we yeah, had. Yeah, it's 16. We have like 16 states. So Berlin is a state. Nordrhein-Westfalen is my oh, state. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. mm -hmm. But you call them states as well. So states, yeah. are they like our cities? Are they uh, like our cities or they're like, they're like states? So every... Yeah, it's like a state, yeah, and every state has cities in it. So okay, I'm okay. from NRW. It's a abbreviation for Nordrhein-Westfalen, uh -huh. and I come I come from the city Dienstlaken. Okay. So it's really and the state also has a capital. So our my state has a capital. It's Düsseldorf. Wow. So it's really like here. So you have Illinois, Springfield right. is the capital, but you also have Fairfield. It's the same right like here. What are your like state? sizes compared to you know because like you said it's a lot smaller yeah. there so. i can maybe answer that question with the second okay. with the next question because then you will see it's a lot of smaller <laughs> so the next question is how big is germany compared to the u.s oh. or like how big is u.s compared to germany how many times like could germany fit inside the yeah, united yeah. states or whatever oh gosh um 30 Two less. No. Oh, really? Yeah. More than 28, that? 28, oh, 28, 28 times. times. So Germ wow. 28 Germany Germany's. would fit in the U.S. So it's really small to compare wow. to Germany. So our states are also that small. Yeah. So, okay, those the next two questions are a little bit harder. <laughs> And we <laughs> well, haven't gotten okay. any yeah. right so far. <laughs> uh, I said, like, when is the German Unity Day? But I don't think it will. So Unity Day is like your... After the wall. Uh-huh breaks yeah it's october 3rd i was gonna say september october yeah. and the fall of the berlin wall you said october, october 3rd that's my um that's my anniversary so oh, i will really? remember that <laughs> yeah and the fall of the berlin wall was a year before 1989 on the november 9th okay 9th of november This one maybe you guys will know because... Don't hold your breath. No, yeah. really. <laughs> Which U.S. president came to Germany and said the famous, famous words, I am a Berliner, like, ich bin ein Berliner. Mm. Which president was it? It's your president, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He was, he was killed, like, he was shot. So, who? So Kennedy. Oh, yes. JFK. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And uh, the last question will be, in which two territories was Germany divided before the Mauer, uh, Mauer, talking yeah. German here, <laughs> before the wall, like fall of the Berlin Wall, it was divided after the Second World War. Uh -huh. Yeah. It was America also, one of the 
so federal republic of germany like mm-hmm. west germany was america great britain and france and the uh, german democratic republic like east germany Dem- yeah. was the soviet union like russia uh, okay so yeah. west and east and yeah. then yeah well very cool <laughs> i learned a lot today mm-hmm. yeah and but, as dumb uh, as i feel during <laughs> trivia i always enjoy learning so yeah, maybe thank you you're welcome but i thought it i thought it will be easy but no, i'm I like know. thinking for me it's normal right. so yeah, yeah. Right. well and like we said we're very uncultured swine <laughs> around here so i haven't been very far <laughs> no <laughs> i've never been over overseas at all my my goal was to go to um I want to go to Ireland just because it's yeah. an easy fly mm-hmm. comparatively and, um, and language. Uh, yes, right. Oh Irish is also like people talking English in Ireland is also really difficult, I guess, to like. They have understand. a very strong yeah, accent. Yeah. yeah, but at least I could read signs. Hopefully there. <laughs> but now I'm going to go to Germany because Elena can just take me around, and I won't yeah. have to worry right. about reading yeah. signs and translating. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm. Looking forward to it. Raylan James marketing trip at yeah. some point. Raylan James marketing goes international. <laughs> goes international. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. We need to learn some stuff. So yeah. it's really getting hot in here. I know. Uh, I'm burning up. I'm burning up. All right. So well, I that color changing polish, and when I'm cold, it's turquoise. Oh, really? When I'm hot, it's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Yeah, this room nice. gets so stuffy. <laughs> Um, lights. I know. Today yeah, or we're something. we're on. She's got the. Uh, oh yeah. If I can turn this, she's got the interrogation light on her. Mm. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> interrogation light. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a little hot in here, but all right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank yeah. you for well, joining us. Yeah. See, yeah. it wasn't bad. It wasn't was bad. It? No. <laughs> I told yeah, you no. it wasn't bad, but no, I really enjoyed you coming, and I will let you get back to your cake and party Ooh. for Shelby and of course work and all nice. that fun stuff but yeah, yeah if there's leftovers you know where to find yeah. us you got <laughs> it hop in <laughs> check out the alligator on the desk <laughs> for real <laughs> yeah oh my gosh well thank you all for joining us um, again on our weekly bi-weekly podcast it's a beautiful day in Fairfield um, join us on Friday at 8 30 with special guests Sam Sandy and Ethan Davis from the Bobcats baseball team Um, And don't forget to subscribe to RJ on the Air on YouTube um, and help us spread the word by sharing with your friends. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone has a beautiful day in Fairfield. We'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.